हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कार्ल फिशर टाइट्रेशन दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ जॉब इन फार्मा इंडस्ट्रीज सो लेट्स बिगिन वेलकम टू गौतम पाठशाला माय सेल्फ आर के बाथ्रा योर होस्ट सो हु वाज कार्ल फिशर कार्ल एंड्रोविच फिशर वॉज अ प्रोमिनेंट जर्मन बॉर्न रशियन फोटोग्राफर वॉट इज कार्ल फिशर टाइट्रेशन इट इज़ अ टेक्निक that is used to determine the amount of water content present in a given sample this method was developed by german chemist karl fischer in the year 1935 that is popularly known as karl fischer titrator so this is how the karl fischer titrator looks like the different parts of the titrator is shown here the ambered glass bottle we can see that is used to fill kf reagent as kf reagent is light sensitive that is it is stored in amber colored bottle automatic burette titration flask platinum electrode that is double platinum electrode is used here for the purpose of accuracy and a bottle of methanol one more diagram of the titrator here we can see on the top detection electrode cathode anode analyte catholite membrane inner burette titration nozzle and piston burette karl fischer reagent is filled inside this burette basic ingredients of karl fischer reagents so there are four basic reagents are present in the karl fischer reagent that is iodine sulfur dioxide buffer and solvent as a buffer imidazole is used and as a solvent methanol is used before in place of imidazole pyridine was used but pyridine is carcinogenic in nature that is why it is replaced by imidazole principle of karl fischer titration so in this principle the alcohol reacts with sulfur dioxide and base to form an intermediate that is alkyl sulfate which is then oxidized by iodine to an alkyl sulfate salt so this is the oxidation reaction which consumes all the water present inside the sample <coughs> in place of the methanol we can use other solvent also like like dimethyl formamide or diethylene glycol monoethyl ether now the mechanism of the karl fischer reaction it is based on the bunsen reaction in a non aqueous medium so in the first step one molecule of sulfur dioxide react with one molecule of iodine and one molecule of water to give two molecule of hydrogen iodide and one molecule of sulfur trioxide in the second step three molecule of pyridine reacts with two molecule of hydrogen iodide and one molecule of sulfur trioxide to give intermediate that is two molecule of pyridinium hydrogen iodide and one molecule of pyridinium sulfite salt in the third step one molecule of pyridinium sulfide salt react with methanol to form the final product that is pyridinium methyl sulfate salt it is a complex compound so this is the mechanism of the reaction where all the water is consumed and reacts with iodine and methanol to give pyridinium methyl sulfate salt now how much amount of sample can be used for the analysis of water content so the table is shown on the screen suppose if your sample contained 100% water 100% then only 0.02 to 0.05 g of the sample can be used for analysis if 5% is present in the sample then 0.5 to 2.5 g of the sample is used for the analysis to determine water content now if suppose we want to analyze any sample so how do we operate the software of karl fischer titrator is shown here so 
द मेन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टाइट्रेशन इज क्लीनिंग द टाइट्रेटिंग फ्लास्क एस टू अवॉइड एनी साइड रिएक्शन सो द टाइट्रेटन द टाइट्रेटिंग फ्लास्क इज वॉश्ड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द सॉल्वेंट एट इज मिथनॉल टू टू थ्री टाइम्स टू अवॉइड एनी साइड रिएक्शन देन टेक थर्टी टू फोर्टी एम एल ऑफ द ड्राइड मिथनॉल इन द टाइट्रेशन फ्लास्क एंड स्टार्ट दी बटन फॉर द कंडीशनिंग टू बी ओके इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बैकग्राउंड ड्रिफ्ट और कंडीशनिंग दिस प्रोसेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज इट रिमूव द मॉइस्चर कंटेंट प्रजेंट इन साइड द टाइट्रेशन सेल और इन द ट्यूबलेट्स सेकेंड एंटर ऑल द नेसेसरी इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज नेम एंड बैच नंबर ऑफ द सैम्पल देन आफ्टर the conditioning gets okay we can add the sample in the titration flask and start the titration then the reaction goes on the burette slowly introduces a scar fisher reagent by the help of the tube in the titration flask and reaction starts so after 2 to 3 minutes we gets the result in the form of the percentage amount of water present in the sample in the form of the percentage the calculation during this reaction is in order to calculate the percentage of the water content in the sample is calculated by the formula weight of the sample in the form of gram divided by volume of karl fischer reagent consumed by this formula we can calculate the amount of water present in the sample in the form of percentage now is the karl fischer reaction sensitive to ph yes it is sensitive to ph the ph range must be between 5 to 8 if the ph is lower than 5 the titration speed becomes very slow and if the ph is higher than 8 the titration rate becomes fast it is due to the esterification side reaction because of that it produces water that results in vanishing end point so the optimum ph range for the karl fischer reaction is from 5 to 8 and highly acidic or basic samples need to be buffered to bring the overall ph into that range what is the major difference between volumetric and coulombic titration in volumetric method the titrant is directly added to the sample with the help of the burette as we have seen previously but in case of coulombic method the titrant is produced inside the titration flask electrochemically once again the volumetric karl fischer titration in volumetric karl fischer titration iodine is added mechanically to a solvent containing the sample by the titrator burette during the titration water is quantified on the basis of the volume of karl fischer reagent consumed volumetry is based suited for determination of water content in the range of 100 ppm to 100% so in volumetric karl fischer titration karl fischer reagent is directly added to the karl fischer titrator flask by the help of the burette this is volumetric kft second coulombic karl fischer titration in this iodine is generated electrochemically inside the titration flask during the titration and how much amount of water is present is quantified by the total charge as measured by current in the form of ampere and time there is a relation between charge current and second so q is equal to 1 coulomb or q is equal to 1 ampere into 1 second because there is a relation charge is equal to current into second where 1 mg of water consumes 10.72 coulomb of charge so by the help of this relation we can calculate the amount of water present inside the sample coulombic is best suited for determination of water content in the range of 1 ppm to 5%
how does coulombic titrator work first it generate iodine at the anode of the titration cell instead of dispensing kf reagent as in volumetric titration second it detects the end point of the titration using the double platinum pin electrode third it calculate the end result based on the total charge passed q in coulomb using on board microprocessor why we use sodium tartrate in carl fischer because of the three reason the first reason is it is very stable up to 150 degree celsius second it is non hygroscopic in nature under norm, normal condition and stoichiometrically it contains 15.66% water that is why it is used as in volumetry to measure the titer carl fischer titration application it is used in technical products such as plastic oil and gases it is used in pharmaceutical product also used in cosmetic industries and many other industries disadvantage of titration waste of solvent due to manual volumetric titration second the margin of error is more in volumetric kf titration third coulombic kf titration is applicable only to smaller samples and fourth water in chocolates cannot be determined without dissolving the chocolates what is the use of methanol in carl fischer titration it is used as a solvent why is imidazole used in carl fischer one thing is that pyridine that was used before is carcinogenic in nature that is why it is replaced by imidazole the second reason is the speed time and accuracy of the carl fischer reaction is influenced by the medium that is used in the titration vessel what electrode is kf titration it has double platinum electrode for the purpose of accuracy thank you everyone you can find me at rahulkumawat2310@gmail.com